reflex action and reflex arc. You withdraw your hand. When your fingers touch a hot object, you close your eyes. When bright light is focused on your eyes, you sneeze. When something enters your nose, you cough. When you inhale dust, etc. All these are reflex actions or called reflexes. Reflex actions are very important as they save us from painful or dangerous stimuli. Reflexes are fast, immediate, automatic and involuntary responses of the body. Reflexes occur without our thinking. Brain is not involved in the execution of several reflexes. The entire process of response to a peripheral nervous stimulation that occurs involuntarily, that is, without conscious effort or thought, and requires the involvement of a part of the central nervous system, is called reflex action. The structural and functional unit that carries out reflex action is called reflex arc. Reflex arc consists of a receptor, a sensory nerve, a ferrant, an association neuron, motor nerve, efferent, and effector organ. The receptor may be a single cell or group of cells. They receive information about stimuli and generate electric potentials. The sensory nerve is associated with the receptor. It carries the information from the receptor organ to the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, the sensory nerve makes connections with other neurons in the grey matter. These neurons are called interneurons or association neurons. The neurons process the information and generate responses. The efferent fibers of motor nerves carry these responses from interneurons to the effector organ which is usually a muscle. This makes the muscle to contract. 